Good morning and welcome back to Margin. This morning, we're going to talk about giving being more than just an action. So let's jump right into it. So steady, consistent giving is key to your financial picture. So let's put that steady plan from last episode to action. So let's say that you have defined what events merit a gift, a gift that you would give to someone. You may have specified who you plan to give that gift to, how often and how much you give in the form of planned or spontaneous giving opportunities. Now what? It's now time to put this plan into action. With giving, oftentimes, the focused action behind it is what is missing, causing us to get busy, causing us to get distracted maybe, or lazy, uh, or just plain forget to give. So however, I think there is a deeper consideration to evaluate as well. So many people believe that if they give, they will be lacking and won't have enough. It's almost as though they prevent the opportunity to give out of simply fear. Now there is a healthy fear which prevents us from walking out in front of a bus. Uh, there is also unhealthy fear that keeps us up at night uh, wondering about the what ifs of life. So how often do we get into the rhythm of not giving out of fear, uh, a fear of loss or of not having enough for, uh, for the what if that could arise? Now, when you are struggling to figure out whether a thought is founded or not, you should go through a process. Now, I find it to be helpful uh, to challenge that thought process in the form of looking at specific scenarios that either validate or defunct that thought. Now, we have so many thoughts that go through our minds every day we need to actively be the air traffic controller of our specific minds. Now, this will ensure that a passing unfounded thought does not seep into our belief system without actually being vetted. So with regards to giving, use this opportunity to think back over the last year or so. What opportunities have you had to give and how did it turn out? Did you step up and choose to be generous or did you look past that need out of fear or out of some passing thought that you adopted and made it your truth? So think about how those scenarios turned out. When you gave generously and you thought back on that scenario, did you regret it or did you regret it more when the opportunity had passed and you ignored it. So I believe that reflection is so important as it ensures we maintain perspective. If we are always running from one thing to the next and not reflecting, we miss the opportunity to gain perspective. Now, oftentimes I find that when you are generous, it allows you to build in a positive feedback loop uh, that, that helps you to then become more generous. Now I find that those who are more generous are typically happier, more grateful, and have greater impact on others because they're not holding on to their, uh, their resources with a clenched fist. So try it out in this season. Try reflecting. Reflecting not only on, on what your goals were for this year and how many of those said goals that you actually achieved, but also seeing the risks that you took uh, to step out of your comfort zone, to be generous, to grow. Uh, what mistakes did you actually make? What lessons did you learn? And what information did you take in of this? What then did you apply in order to gain wisdom from those specific situations, those experiences that you've had? So I think that through this process, you will get an idea of where you are and what needs to change. How do you need to improve and how you need to go about doing so? You don't want to give out of obligation, but from a heart of generosity. Now, my call to action day is to take a moment to reflect on the last year. What have you learned? How have you grown? What has changed um, who you are and how you operate? Don't give from a place of what you can get or how it will make you feel, but how it may inspire you to change your perspective. 
If this information is helpful to you, please do like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're reminded to come back on a daily basis and improve in managing your personal finances. Thank you for your time. Enjoy your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.